Now, I, I got to go to your calls, and that means no matter how good your call is or how good the point is, I'm not going to be able to spend much time. Mark in Illinois, thank you for calling. Hello? Yes, Mark, go ahead. Oh, hi, I've got information. I, I, it's, I'm a little nervous, but uh, have you ever heard of uh, the late Nord Davis Jr. of North Point teams in uh, Topton, North Carolina? No. Well, in 1968, he, his first printing of the Dallas Conspiracy, he shows uh, at a Life magazine. Oh, yeah, I've heard, I've, I've, I've heard of the book. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. And also, the second subject is a touchy one. I, uh, well, finish I your point about that book. Hold on. Finish oh, your point yeah. about that book. Go ahead. Well, I'm looking at, I know the guy, well, I don't. I don't know. I'm looking at a copy of it on the Internet that I could share with you how to get it, but... uh it shows his name is D. Morenschild, uh, a.k.a. Uh, Von Morenschild, was this guy that's standing on the sidewalk with two fully automatic pistols with silencers, and the little girl that is famous for running up and all of a sudden she slows down. She witnessed a woman that had stepped in front of this man and was shot in the head, and there is, in the original... Warren Commission report, the big one, uh, that this police officer had blood on his left side of his helmet and the left side of his motorcycle. I never heard that. I'll have to look into it. I would imagine if that was all documented, I would have heard about it. But, okay, what was your next point? Well, it's the most touchy subject of all. Uh, I learned it 20 years ago, and I've grown with it ever since. And it is a fact. You can look in the 1980 Jewish Almanac, a Jewish rabbi stating, it is incorrect to call a modern-day Jew an Israelite or a modern-day Israelite a Jew. They are not Israelites. They're Israelites. And the Anglo-Saxon, Scandinavian, Germanic, and kindred people, commonly called the white race, which has been demonized, came out of Assyrian captivity. They migrated north over the southern Russian mountains of of the Caucasus. Oh, the this, is what, uh, this is what Encyclopedia Judaica says. Well, I don't know much about... No, no, no. The first part Jews. was from Encyclopedia Judaica. The new yeah, stuff you're saying well, is uh, British Israelism. No, it's, it's Anglo-Saxon, Scandinavian, white race, America, Canada, Australia, South Africa. It's white no, no, no. But, I mean, to be clear, though, I'm trying to see where the quote out of Judaica ends and where what you're saying begins. Yeah, I know. I haven't actually read it. I don't have a 1980 Jewish almanac in front of me. You know, well, I, I just... listen, I happen to have actually looked into that, and I appreciate your call. And the part you talked about with the rabbi saying that, that's in all the Jewish almanacs, and it's true. That about 80 to 85, they debate this, of Jewish people uh, are Khazarian, and uh, somehow the media says it's racist to even say this. No, it's, it's, it's in all the major... Uh, you know, Jewish encyclopedias, that they come out of the area north of Turkey. And it is a Eastern European uh, uh, group that's had some crossover into the Semitic group, uh, but more more uh, uh, Turkish. But if you really look at Turks, uh, they were originally uh, uh, you know, European uh, in, uh, in Anglo. And, and, and so the 80-plus percent of Jews are a mix of, of Germanic and uh, Asian, okay. Whereas your mainline Semitic Arabs are a mix of of uh, Negro, uh, Caucasian, and Asian. Now, again, I've this is the mainline sociology, mainline anthropology. Uh, you have the Caucasoids, the Negroids, uh, the Asians, and those are your three major groups. And you've got sub. Uh, groups that are uh, divided where those groups have touched. The Vikings founded Moscow. The Vikings ruled up until about uh, 800 years ago right up into Turkey, coming into those fjords, coming into those rivers. Uh, this is great stuff. Any history book on the Vikings about their you know whole history will tell you this. They set up the trading civilization that's there, and they traded then with the Turks and the rest of them uh, and the uh, Persian Empire. They had trading routes literally with the camels and donkeys and ships would bring it right up to the rivers that the Vikings controlled all into Russia, all into the steppes, all the way through Europe, through what's Germany today, up into uh, Scandinavia. 
And so, uh, and they also interbred a lot along those lines. So what you have is a Central and Eastern European uh, group with uh, small amounts of uh, Nordic infused, and then you also have some uh, of the genetics of black folks infused because Arabs were also interbreeding, uh, touching there, and they had already, at a larger level, intermarried with the uh, North Africans and even uh, uh, Africans that were brought up as slaves from further south uh, during the slave trade that, of course, goes back to even before the Egyptians. So since we're getting off into all this, see, each caller brings up incredible points. There's no way I can't really get into all this. So we are getting into it. Uh, so everybody's basically a Mongol. The Europeans always called everybody from Moscow on, or really from Poland on, Mongols, because they've been invaded by the Mongols. They've been invaded by the Huns, uh, and uh, had been dominated in some cases for hundreds of years. And that's why you know Vladimir Putin and others have these slant eyes. That's why you'll see somebody with blonde hair, blue eyes, but they got slant eyes. Just like if you were a white seller to the U.S. and you married an Indian woman squaw, you're going to, throughout your generations, because it's dominant genetics, going to have squinty slant eyes. Like, I have squinty uh, Asiatic eyes to a certain extent. Because a lot of sides of my family, especially on my dad's side, married Native American women. So I'm, But, again, it doesn't manifest in coloration. It manifests uh, in, uh, in uh, the eye shape, ears, things like that. Okay, we'll be right back. Finishing up briefly and back to your calls, what that fellow brought up. So you've got about 15, 20% who are Sephardic. And they're from the Middle East and they look like Palestinians. And uh, if you look at the old paintings from, done by the Romans on walls, you know, they would paint the different groups that lived in Rome of what a Jew looked like. And you, I mean, you see like some of the Israeli soldiers. They've got the dark hair, uh, the, you know, the, the high cheekbones. Uh, I mean, you can totally tell they'll be right next to a Eastern European guy with red hair and blue eyes, and that will be you know, that's the majority of Israel, and that is a well, you know, they have popular terms for it, and then the uh, the, the, the terms popularly used, but but the main group comes out of Khazarium. It was a huge area spanning from northern Turkey uh, out to Greece, uh, Macedonia, a huge border. And everybody acts. Everybody always calls me like this is some big breaking, which is fine. Breaking news. I mean, this is this is just mainline history. Uh, now, when you get into uh, Christian identity and British royal Israelism and the rest of it, th every British king and queen for more than a thousand years, even before William the Conqueror and eleven whatever came in, they have been coronated as sons of David, and they are coronated on the stone that supposedly Abraham almost sacrificed Jacob on. And they believed that uh, they were, when the Christians showed up more than a thousand years ago in the British Isles, they saw Hebrew. And they, the people, are, a lot of them already thought that. So I actually looked into this about a decade ago. I didn't believe it. I was like, oh, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, the Europeans are Jews. Well, Jews is just one of 13 tribes. Uh, you know, the tribe of Judah. Now, to say that all Europeans, you know, came out of the Middle East and really are, no. But there's no doubt that they all migrated different groups. Uh, it's known that Vikings were coming in and others uh, were coming in from northern Europe into the Mediterranean. Not just all the rivers that come out to the Mediterranean. There's a whole, you know, history that they burned up in Alexandria and the great... <sighs> Folks, you want me to keep talking about this? It's pretty interesting or should I take calls? I'm just going to take calls. I got to do whole shows on this because I actually have a pretty great knowledge of it. Because back before I knew all this stuff was so important, I was reading history books about it. I mean, you read Rise and Fall of Roman Empire, that stuff's in there. Um, let's go ahead and uh, take another call.